Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Skin Barrier Serum Toner. This product retails for $39. I have never tried any of Dr. Jart's products. I've heard so many people love different products from this brand, but I've just never come around to trying it. This product is very recently released, and I think they released it alongside a moisturizer. I just found that out before I started filming this video, so I didn't purchase that product. According to what I see with this product and how my skin reacts to it, we'll determine if I want to try out that product as well. Now, I am not sure that this is correct. I was looking up if this brand was vegan or if this product was vegan and I couldn't find any indication that it was. I'm not an expert so I'm not exactly sure by looking at the ingredient list if it is vegan. I did see that this brand was not cruelty free. I just wanted to disclose that because I am likely to be wrong about some of this stuff. Please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. The highlighted ingredients in this product include ceramide NP and panthenol. To check out the full ingredient list make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. I looked at the ingredient list of this product and one ingredient that makes me a little bit nervous is it said it had an olive oil derivative. I have personally had a bad experience with olive oil. It is one of the oils that is supposed to set off acne and so the big thing that I'm looking for with this product is does it cause any acne. Since I did see that ingredient and it makes me just a little bit nervous, I do want to see if it causes acne because if it does then obviously I'm not not going to be able to use this product. Another thing that I'm looking for with this product is what results does it deliver? This product is supposed to be skin barrier supporting and I'm going to hold it to that. I'm hoping this product will be very nourishing for the skin but not overly hydrating, not suffocating like some hydrating toners are. It also says it's a serum toner. I think that just means that you can use it as a serum, you can use it as a toner. It's kind of like a hybrid product and so I'll be interested to see how it performs. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm quick check-in on this product. I used this product once and I woke up this morning with a little bit of subtle texture on my forehead. I don't even know if it's reading on camera. It's mainly just a feel thing. It wasn't something that I had before I went to bed and then I applied this product and then I woke up the next morning and I noticed some texture coming up on my skin. Not sure that that's related to this product but after I saw that olive oil was in this and the only experience I've had with olive oil is the Purito cleansing oil, which did cause the same texture to come up on my skin. So I think that's why I'm a little bit hyper aware of it now because I do know the signs that it's going to happen. Not sure that that's what's going on with this product. I'm gonna use it a little bit longer and see if it continues to get worse. And then if it does, then I won't be able to use this product. This product did have a nice feel to it. My skin woke up feeling very rejuvenated, felt very refreshed, but but I am disappointed that it has olive oil in it because this product and the moisturizer both have olive oil in it. So I really wish that it didn't. So just be mindful of that. This product is a very unique consistency. It's this kind of thick, but yet it's fairly runny and watery. Whenever they said it was a barrier serum toner, this is exactly what I was expecting, which is kind of like a thicker toner. I've just applied this product like a normal toner after my cleanser. It doesn't take very much of this product. And it does have a smell to it. If you are sensitive to fragrance, this does have some essential oils in it. It did add a very nice glow to the skin. That is what this product does best. It adds a nice glow, but sadly, if I continue to see texture come up on my skin and if it just gets worse than this little bit on my forehead, I mean, this can be anything. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So I did stop using this product a long time ago, but sadly I did get sick and I hadn't been able to record my final thoughts on it. This product I had to stop using after three days because it was causing acne and texture to come up on my skin and I just really did not need that. I noticed the signs that it was starting to come up and I did take photos on the third day. Whenever I stopped using it, my skin was looking very rough. I had a lot of acne coming up 
up over here and I had a lot of acne coming up over here. But when I noticed that it was really becoming a problem was when it started to come up on places I wasn't getting acne, like my forehead and my chin. I would not recommend this product if you are acne prone because it does have olive oil in it. Olive oil is a known cause of acne and I don't know why brands use this ingredient. I think it is great for dry skin. So if you have been able to use olive oil in other products that you've used in the past, then I do feel like that this product could be okay for you. Personally, myself, I am acne prone and olive oil clogs my pores. I wish that this product was more designed for all skin types. It was not a good first impression with this brand. Even though I know they make some great products, I did not enjoy my experience with this product. And for that reason, I would not recommend it, especially if you are acne prone. This product is similar to the moisturizer. I looked at the ingredient list of both and they both have olive oil in it, which is extremely disappointing because I did love the feel of this product. It just sadly caused acne and for that reason, I cannot recommend it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.